You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello, my name is Lisa Sweet. I'm the co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I want to thank you for continuing to watch these segments with positive stories of nursing assistants, nurse techs, assisted living caregivers, home health and hospice caregivers. Although a few bad apples usually dominate the CNA related headlines that we see, these episodes of CNA Heroes demonstrate the love compassion, and sacrifice many, many CNAs make every day. Let's no longer hold our heads in shame because of the abuse committed by others. We can't feel bad about that. Instead, let's hold our heads high, make a personal commitment to be extra mindful of the signs of abuse educate others, and of course, immediately report any suspected signs of abuse of any form. Yes, sometimes it's hard to hold your head high when the actions of others are disparaging our profession. But now is the time to take it back. Send me your CNA Hero Stories to lsweet at nacacna.org. Watch CNA Heroes Weekly. Share with your friends and your coworkers. Encourage them to share it. Subscribe to CNA TV. We must do everything we can to get these positive stories out there, and today's CNA Hero is no exception. We all understand, in order to provide quality care for the residents, there must be quality care providers and consistency. Consistent staff who remain in place for years, sometimes decades, they know the backstories and the baselines of the residents. These consistent staff members remain through many fellow CNAs. They remain through many administrators and nursing directors and other departments who have come and gone yet those consistent CNAs are still there providing quality care. These super CNAs who are in it for the long haul become the pillars of the care center, literally holding it up. Thank you to the Syracuse Journal Democrat for originally publishing this story. Today's CNA hero is one of those super duper CNAs and she shines. As a young woman, Betty Rubel and her husband James, just married, moved to Morning Sun, Iowa, into a house right across the street from Morning Sun Care Center. As a young woman, Betty filled out an application, was immediately hired, and she started her first day of work August 10th get this, of 1969, just days after Neil Armstrong returned from his walk on the moon, 1969. Fast forward to today, and Betty Rubel is still working at Morning Sun Care Center. This August will mark 50 years serving the residents at Morning Sun Care Center. That gives me goosebumps. She has worked there as a nurse aide, a CNA, and a restorative aide. She has worked at Morning Sun for nearly 50 years, and one comment that is made by everybody is that she always, always has a smile on her face. Betty Rubel knows how to shine. When asked what she loved most about the work that she did, she didn't even have to think about it. She quickly reply, replied, the residents. I love the residents. Of course, her favorite resident is her 94-year-old mother, Alzheimer's patient, Jessie Johnson. But don't worry, Betty has plenty of love to go around. 
Betty Rubel is a CNA hero because she persisted in a career that is very demanding, always remaining patient and compassionate, and always smiling. For 50 years, Betty has delivered consistent quality care to those in her charge. 50 years of her life devoted to taking care of others, sick and aged family members, and doing it with love, hugs, and smiles. Folks, it doesn't get any better than Betty Rubel. This world would be a much greater place if we had more Betty Rubles in it. So everybody, please join me today and celebrating an extraordinary person, CNA hero, Betty Rubel.